This is Dayton at Davidson, another video. I'm going to show you a series of two um, situations here. The first is a pretty serious collision. Kyle Davis. And you see that there where he just literally knocked him down and no whistle. Now, if the defender had hit the offensive player that hard and done the same thing to him, I'll bet we would have had a whistle. Let's just keep it going now. I'll show that one to you again. Kyle Davis gives went down. And I pray you don't think that's a flop because he got knocked to his butt. Now the pass is thrown over to the other side of the court. So that's a situation right there, a play, if you will. I don't like to call them plays, but uh, he collided with him and knocked him to the floor. That's a player control foul, uh, which there was no whistle on that play at all. No whistle. Now the ball is thrown over to the other side, and we have this fellow over here who drives to the basket. He takes off driving to the basket now, and he gets bumped here by, I believe, number 12. Um, and the official on the inline says this is not a continuous motion play. I'm just going to go ahead and walk it through here on the slow motion. Now when a player is driving to the basket and he gives up the dribble, the dribble ends when he touches it with two hands. So this player who is driving toward the basket has ended the dribble. This player is now in the act of shooting. And he, on his next step is when the official rules a blocking foul on 12 white. Now the ball is already leaving his hand and we still don't have the whistle down here. I think it's about to happen pretty soon. I mean, that ball is already touching the backboard now, and he decides to raise two fists in the air as if he's got two fouls even though we know what he, we're used to seeing such unprofessionalism, he comes down and beats his hips. And then, I <clears throat> can't hear him, but then he, as he's going toward the table, and, oh, let's just get another one in there first. Another hip beater. Now he's going to head to the table, and uh, he's going to point to the floor, indicating that that's some information that somebody could use. There is no information that a guy can use by saying it was on the floor. Our students, we even tell them that that's meaningless information. He's now pointing to the floor. You should never do that. If it's going to be no shots, then you would point to the end line. If it's going to be one and one, you would show one and one at the site before you get in a hurry to go report the foul. So we butchered that player control foul over here. Then we go to the other side and we don't uh, rule accurately on continuous motion. Now this is so obvious to me, continuous motion. Otherwise, I wouldn't be making the video, obviously. Watch this. Scoochie. And a foul on his way in. We got to be better than that. 